live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering NAB 2017. Brought to you by HGST. Welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at NAB 2017. I'm Lisa Martin. Very, very excited, kind of geeking out right now to be joined by our next two guests. Sam Blackman, the co-founder and CEO of AWS Elemental. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much. And we have NASA astronaut Tracy Caldwell Dyson. Both of you, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Today has been a very historic day for technology and space. This was the first ever live 4K video stream that happened between you on Earth, Sam, and Dr. Peggy Whitson aboard the International Space Station. Yes. Wow. It was Tell us about that. Truly amazing to be a part of history and the amount of technology that came into play to make this possible. You know, seeing on the conference room in NAB in the middle of Las Vegas, seeing astronauts 250 miles ahead going around the Earth 17,000 miles an hour and a seamless, beautiful 4K picture. It, it was, I mean, it was, it was mind blowing. I just, I, hard, to, hard to believe it's happened still. I can't even imagine I'm getting goosebumps for you. Tell us some of the things that, that Dr. Whitson shared about her experiences and what was the interaction like? Well, Commander Whitson and, and Colonel Fisher was also in the interview and that guy is hilarious, by yeah, the way. He is, he is hilarious. <laughs> um, they talked about how advanced imaging technology really helps NASA perform experiments and, and bring experiments that are happening on the space station down to Earth for researchers to use that data and discover how the world works um, inside the universe. Um, some of the really interesting examples revolved around some experiments they showed. With thin film technology, they had a, a very small um, metallic structure that they could pull water out of and then color that water, convert it into a, a spherical shape. And in the 4K resolution, you could just see every element of that thin film in a way that looked like it was right next to us. I mean, it was, it was transformative. Yeah, I bet it was. Well, speaking of transformative, you know, this was, I mentioned, a really historic event for a number of reasons, obviously for those of us on the ground, for AWS Elemental, but Tracy, from your perspective, you've been in space for 188, I had it here somewhere, hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you've been on STS-118, <laughs> you've been on, on the Soyuz to the station on Expeditions 23 and 24. What does this capability now mean to, in the life of an astronaut? I think it, what it does is it helps us bring the experience to everybody here on Earth. It is so hard to capture what we are not just seeing but experiencing. That um, the, the the richness, the detail, the vividness of, of the colors and how they're changing are all a part of uh, looking at our beautiful planet. And just um, from that alone, being able to bring that to the American people, the world really, um, is uh, um, I think to me a, a, a great relief because it grieves me to think about how in the world I would describe this beautiful, magnificent view to everybody back home. I can imagine that you'd be at a, you've done extra vehicle spacewalks, yes. and I can imagine it's indescribable. It is, and um, from the from the fact that you're looking at um, our planet from 250 miles above, you see the the curvature of the Earth. You see it moving at at a super high speed. You don't feel the wind in your face, but there's no doubt you're you're traveling very fast. And just the just the fact that you are out in the vacuum of space, if you could bring parts of that to, to that experience to people back home. I, I'm excited to think about how that would transform just uh, the way people think, not to mention the way that they act towards our planet. I also think, I think inspiration, we were talking before we went on that um, you were about 14 when the Challenger incident happened. We, we all kind of remember exactly where we were and that really a teacher being in space was so inspirational to you. Can you imagine kind of shifting the conversation and what this technology is able to do inspiring the next generation of people that want to be the next Tracy Caldwell Dyson? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what, what uh, the technology does today, especially in imaging capabilities, is it provides so much more detail than I could even describe that a, a, you know, a young person today watching that, our, and our generation today is so visual, that they're going to pick up on things that I wouldn't even think to describe to them. And it's going to capture their imagination in ways that are astounding compared to I who 
just the sheer knowledge of knowing there was a teacher that was going into space propelled me to work really hard. I can only imagine what this generation is going to be capable of because of the images that we're bringing to them. Oh, so exciting. And Sam, this is really kind of the tip of the iceberg. So from, from AWS Elemental's perspective, first of all, you just had a rebrand, but what does this mean for the future of the video ecosystem? Well, I think it really shows you how the technology components can come together to create unbelievable pictures no matter where you are, on the planet or in space. We had a live 4K encoder on the space station itself sending down signals to Johnson Space Center, then Johnson Space Center sending redundant links to Las Vegas here in the convention center, and then processing the video, the interview with Tracy here in the space center, or here in uh, NAB, and then using the cloud to distribute that all over the world. So these 4K images, which take a significant amount of bandwidth, can be created in space, delivered here, produced, and delivered anywhere in the world using the power of the cloud and advanced networking technology. And that's you know, pretty amazing that when you think cool. about it. It really is. I, I don't think the three of us are smiling big enough. I know. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> There's <laughs> so much relief in this there, space. I can I imagine. Yeah. I absolutely can imagine. I think one of the cool things about, this is our first time at NAB with theCUBE, but mm -hmm. you know, we're here, media, entertainment, Hollywood. What this shows is this transcendence of technology to, to space, and there's so much interest in space. Um, in fact, Tracy, you were an advisor to Jessica Chastain on The Martian. Yes. Which is probably pretty exciting. Oh, absolutely. It but is. just the, the, the transcendence of that and how this technology can be used to power things that everybody can understand, movies and things but also the future of space exploration, which I can imagine right now in the era of the space shuttle being retired now, depending on Soyuz rockets to get to the space station as the next vehicle is, is delivered. This must be quite inspirational for you as an astronaut, as not only is the next vehicle uh, in development, but also um, the exploration of Mars. In fact, you were just last month with President Trump yes. as they signed a bill um, what are your thoughts about that and what, how do you see imaging technology being an instrumental part of Mars exploration? In so many ways, but um, at the top is the momentum. Like you said, uh, you know, with um, you know, Hollywood has has uh, captured space in some some real endearing ways, and um, you know, the the images from NASA, from from uh, the Human Spaceflight Program to Hubble to Deep Space, it's it is propelling. It's 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 momentum. And I think we need that momentum, especially with our young folks, because they're going to be the ones, let's face it, who are, are going to be uh, um, in the best condition to, to be on the planet of Mars. And so if we can continue to feed them the images and, and as lifelike as we can, so that they feel they're there, I think we are um, heading in the right direction to actually being there. Wow, fantastic. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you both so much for joining us on theCUBE, and we can't wait to see what's next. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank well, you. for Tracy and Sam, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching theCUBE live from NAB 2017. Stick around, we'll be right back.